on C.N. and Clark. If you come up here, we're going to have this open <coughs> forum. Okay, go ahead. Well, you know, I'm mad at myself, and I've said it before, because I do a half-assed job. People say I do a good job on my TV and radio show, and tell you the truth, I don't. I, this is such a war, I should be devoted to this 12 hours a day. And I'm telling you something, what Galen just told you hits the nail right on the head, but it's worse than that. We're already in this global union. We're already in global architecture. We're already in the international community, which is unelected, unaccountable, and controlled by transnational entities that call themselves banks, but they're not banks. They are charlatans, they are con artists, they are confidence men, very old families, Rothschilds, Rockefellers, and a dozen other organizations, but those are, that's the power axis, those two families. And they have, they have nurtured this idea that their power has declined. I assure you, it has only increased because well-managed power, if it's ruthless, will only continue to enlarge itself at the expense of the masses of people. And I want to say to people out there who are watching this on television, because this will re-air, don't you make any exceptions to what we're saying. What we're saying is facts. And if you want to stick your head in the sand, that's just fine. But I say to you, this is world history. And the sad part is, is that slaves out there people that never consciously face up to their destiny to be a real human being with a real spirit, you will never even know you were slaves, and I guess that's your final victory. That's the, that's the solace of the fool. And I say to the fools out there, it's time for you to wake up, it's time for you to start getting educated about what's happening because we're tired. We work our butts off at this. I charge against the enemy every chance I get, and I don't do the best job sometimes. Our doctors, our lawyers, our educators, our teachers, Everybody, I don't care if you change oil. You've got a mind, you've got the facts, and you've impressed me time and time again. Get out here and get access to television shows. Go out there and call into these radio shows. By our spirit and our example, we can lead the fight against this growing corruption that is enveloping the entire planet. And I hope when they prepare these tapes for rebroadcast that they put this information with what I'm saying after what Galen said, because it, it, what I'm saying doesn't make very much sense unless you see the preceding argument. And it's not just an argument, it is fact. Our Constitution has been thrown in the toilet. The only time they follow it, our Congress, is whenever they feel like twisting something in it to where it makes their aims look like it is reality-based. Earlier I was talking about Gulf War Syndrome, which is now an illness, the media admits it a few times, that sarin, sarin nerve gas has been found in some of our troops' blood. I have the December 22, 1997, Gulf War, the uh, Osmarker Station says, Gulf War troops given vaccine despite objection. The botulinum toxide vaccine was given to 80, I mean, uh, 8,000 troops as protection against possible Iraq chemical and biological attack. Well, that's a lie. On CNN, they said it was like a million and a half. They say they're fixing to give them two, uh, 2.4 million more of these same anthrax and botulinum vaccinations. Number one, this is all propaganda here, but they do tell you one thing that's true here. The soldiers were not told the vaccine now being studied as a possible source of the, uh, of the variety of health problems known as Gulf War Syndrome was unlicensed. And it goes over here in 1964, I said 66 earlier, the FDA agreed to let the Department of Defense use experimental drugs to protect against battlefield exposure without following all FDA rules, including informed consent. Guys, this is just, and here it is, the Statesman, Monday, December 22nd, 997, page A3. I want to tell you something. It's in, like I said earlier, it's in your face. They're not even denying it anymore. Global Union, EU, uh, you know, uh, the American Union. We've already got it with GATT and NAFTA. And all it means is the deindustrialization of our nation. It's not free trade. It's not free trade when China has a 15% tariff on us and we have a 2.2% tariff on them and they have most favored trading status. And the World Trade Organization tells us that's free trade, that's real, you know, economics and the American public and American citizenry and worker can compete with anybody. Are you knocking America, Mr. Jones? Are you putting down America? Hell no. I'm standing up against those that are destroying this country as we speak. And why am I fired up? Because this is war. Absolute, unabated, total war against our nation. Uh, I'm going to stand up and this as long as I live. And I say to those out there, in closing, the
establishment with its multi-jurisdictional task forces, the MJTF, controls your local police. They're training with the military. Even 60 Minutes admitted the transfer of military equipment, armored personnel carriers, helicopters, to the local police of this nation under federal control. I didn't believe this a year ago when police officers used to come up and tell me about it. It's true. Make no mistake, we are mirroring Nazi Germany, and the Jews of the future are going to be the Christians. Understand that and wake up to that. They have bred every form of division, sexual division between men and women, children and their parents, rich and poor, smokers and non-smokers, Catholic and Protestant, New Ager and Christian. I speak to many young people, you know, college students, and they say the problem is the Christians. There are a lot of pious Christians that are controlled by the World Council of Churches. That's controlled by the establishment. No, it's organized religion controlled by the state. People don't know who their enemies are. It is consolidated power. It is the consolidated establishment. And I say to you out there, wake up, get informed, and become educators of the masses. Get out there and do your job right now. Yeah. Yeah. puppet and the establishment will realize that we're not just going to accept their Caesars upon us. If you know how the Roman Empire worked, the Caesar was only the capo, the front guy of the emperors. Right. You got to tell the emperors, we will get your Caesars the hell out of here. We don't want them here. Right. I would